Hey everyone, before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know about a great way that you can support the channel while getting U4 Domination now that it's going to be out in a few days or it's already out depending on when you're watching this video. You can simply go to nexus.gg slash the Red Hawk or click the link in the description or the pinned comment and it'll take you to the store right here. Of course, you guys know about Nexus. Lots of creators use it and this is done in collaboration with Paradox and it'll take you to my store right here. I've got various games, but most importantly, you can go ahead and click on U4 Domination right here and you can simply add it to your cart and once it's out or if it's already out you will very easily receive a steam key put it into steam and play it no fuss no nothing like that and most importantly as you can see right here the red hawk will receive a dollar 56 from this purchase so yeah if you don't already have domination and you want to get it make sure to click the link in the description and go to my store right here on nexus it's a great way to support the channel and play the game so thank you to everyone who buys it through this link right here all right Let's move on with the video. I really don't know if we can do this without fighting Portugal, Great Britain, and Spain. But, uh, well, here goes nothing. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge. The challenge where player Venetia U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the Congo Basin for like the third or fourth time as the nation of Luba. Luba is a nation obviously located in the Congo region. We start off as tribal, no feudalism, tech 2 by the way, and we got this 2-2-2 guy who's not very good. I actually don't know Luban ideas, I haven't checked them out, so let's go through them right now. We start off with plus 1 attrition for enemies and plus 30% improved relations, that's pretty strong. Then we have yearly prestige as a finisher, minus 1 national unrest, yearly legitimacy, stab disc, morale dev discount production efficiency diplo rep so i like those national ideas man pretty decent set right there but what do we do as luba well last time as cuba we uh formed cuba so why not today as luba have cuba and cuba as uh subjects who comes up with these? I swear. <laughs> Whatever, man. Either way, this challenge is going to be pretty difficult. Getting feudalism, getting the Renaissance, getting colonialism, fighting all of these guys. Congo is super strong. Then we're going to be colonizing super, super late. Portugal or Castile might even be here by the time we get there. So, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. Let's jump in as Luba. All right, right here we are as Luba. Now, of course, we do need to get some allies over on this side to help us fight these guys, then fight those guys. You guys pretty much know the drill by this point. This starting guy is also Craven. That sucks. We have some semi-unique Congo Basin missions. So, uh, yeah, man, pretty standard right here. Pretty poor. No feudalism. You guys know the drill. So, yeah, let me get started by... Um, doing some estate stuff let's go with the discipline cult all right all right estate stuff done let's not switch the primary cult and does anyone like us right at the start man uh congo we can't ally congo let's ally kasanje right here i just noticed i haven't opened up the tabs which i always do so yeah let's get started by um fighting our neighbors i guess it is sort of beneficial we only have one uh you know direction to expand into so let me spy on uh kazembe right here and kikonja additionally force limit is uh let's see right here eight so let's get rid of that horse we need the money for advisors and let's get three regular guys i'm also gonna rival the guys that have uh rivaled me we actually are making a little bit of money right at the start so i am just gonna get um mill advisors so we get mill tech faster yeah mission to prepare for war sure i gotta claim on that well i just got a new ruler no stab loss because i got a cult right, this guy's better better than 222 for sure and i can also ally congo now and get some claims on the guys i was spying on alliances are pretty fricked over here in this region Ugh. all right so i've created favors with both of my allies and spied on all of my neighbors let's see kazembe here four allies kikonja three allies kalundwe four allies you know i was i used to be excited when we were supposed to play here but now i'm not anymore let's see okay both of these guys would help us with kazembe both wouldn't help us with kikonja and one would help us with uh, these guys. Yeah, it looks like Kazembe is going to be the nation we're going to have to fight. We do have slightly more troops than them. We can easily piece these two guys out. Yeah, this actually shouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. Yeah, so let me raise army maintenance, man. Uh, give my ruler mill command since we don't lose stab when he dies. And um, I guess we'll get to it. Yeah, let's get it, man. Let's go ahead and declare on Kazembe right here uh, for whatever. Call in both of our boys. Okay, war is finally done. Peaced out these guys in Buha very easily, but we can't get to Buganda, but these guys will either way finally accept. And uh, there's Kazembe, uh, full annexed. Sweet. All right, uh, the next wars are going to be just as annoying as this. But yeah, we can go ahead and core this up, man. And uh, we do need to start pushing for uh, what you call it, feudalism in our capital Luba right here. I do have a bunch of points. It is uh, 
Savannah, unfortunately, but we gotta do it, man. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Feudalism. There it is. 36 dev is what it took. Uh, yeah, we should be able to embrace it pretty soon. We can sell it to Congo. We can tech up nicely. Yeah. What's with all these rulers dying? Now I got a queen regent. Eh. We can't take tech. Tier 2 gov reform time. Obviously, we're a tribal nation, man. We're a tribal monarchy. Not the best one. Uh, the best one is with the CCR. Yeah, despotism. But either way, let's go martial society. Okay, my truce with uh, Kalundwe expired. And even though none of my boys will help me, uh, they only have one ally because I made them break two alliances. Can we do this? Let's not. And let's go ahead and fight these two guys. I think I'll full annex them both. Uh, I'm tech 3 there. Tech 2 easy all right this war is done man and honestly it did get pretty messy at a certain point luckily i could call in congo and uh they helped by beating up their armies while i sieged but uh yeah that's done i think we can full annex both of these guys yeah there we go simple man very very simple okay chokwe i like the congo can't fight them i like the congo can't fight them but we can fight kuba who has seven trillion allies oh yeah, the start here is definitely not fun man actually wait let me cancel these and uh reduce now four yeah now to continue on man i think i gotta make congo and one of these two alliances kind of fricked i can't fight kuba by myself they got uh way too many allies i don't know maybe with multic four though i am four everyone else is two and three kuba tio yaka kasanje hmm and you know what man honestly with this tech four over tech two and three advantage there's just so many of these guys. <sighs> okay, these guys I'm not gonna care about. Get past Kuba, go to Yaka and Kasanje, peace them out. Go to Tio, peace them out, then siege them Kuba, then probably unoccupy myself. This is gonna be a very annoying war. I don't have anyone else to fight though. Congo. And this right here makes more sense, right? They got less troops if I do this. Chokwe, Lunda, Congo, and Moravi, me and Kasanje. I think this is actually the better choice. Yeah, let's go for Congo first. They're having rebel trouble as well. This war actually wasn't as difficult as I thought. It was pretty easy piecing out Congo because they had the nobles. All right, let's knock out Lunda here. And as soon as I piece out Moravi, we can take care of Chokwe as well. Sweet. I think we're done here. Nice, man. Slowly, you know, lowering the number of nations here. But yeah, they ally these guys down here and up here as well. That's the stupid thing. All right, Kuba should be fairly easy. If I did this, I can do this as well. Yakas, I like the Congo and Kasanje. Actually, I'm pretty close with favors with these guys. So I'm going to make them end this alliance with them. And then we'll fight uh, them in Congo last. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, curry favors with our boys right here. And I think this is what we got a dev for uh what you call it uh the renaissance so um uh, yeah uh, i don't like this at all man we always have to do this dude it's basically you know a waste if you don't but let's see yeah probably like 36 once again so expensive too frick my heirs keep dying man i've been stuck with this queen for so long and she sucks two heirs have died while she's been queen now the king too yeah, I'm gonna get a move on. Let's accomplish uh, one of our goals now by vassalizing Kuba. What I think I'll actually do is um, take their capital from them and then vassalize them in these two provinces and then feed them these two provinces and they'll exist in the state of Lower Kasai, which has a pretty weird shape. So yeah, let's go ahead and declare on the... Actually, no. Let's go ahead and make Kasanje break their alliance with uh, Kuba, just like that. And now we can go ahead and declare on Kuba since one of their other allies won't join and it's only Tio right here. All right, there's uh, there's the Renaissance. Oof, that's very expensive. Let's go for this right at the start. Not that we needed that much. Congo just annexed Tio, I think. <laughs> Either way, yeah, let's do that and make them a vassal. Sweet. All right, nice. Uh, what do we say we're gonna feed them? These two provinces. Okay, so it's just Yaka left to fight. Uh, would Kasanji help? They would. Uh, nice. Yeah, we can easily take them down uh, with Congo. Just gonna white piece Congo and then fight them when the truce is up. Sweet. But yeah, meanwhile, I'm a 344. I guess we have time to save up the points and save up the money until we get the four in every category, then get the Renaissance, then stab up. I mean, stab up, tech up. And after that, I'll fight Yaka. We'll see. Tier 3 to reform, we got the religious unity and stab stuff, or the land maintenance. All of this is fetishist. No problems with the religious unity or stab, since we don't lose stab when our monarch dies. So let's go with the land maintenance discount. Oh about time and it's a good guy too look four six three dude and a free thinker i'm just glad to be rid of that queen you know i can actually take new burger loans here oh yeah nice nice big boy loans too uh let's get a marketplace there and there okay i think we can go ahead and fight yaka here kasanji will come in we'll just peace out congo and make them end their alliance with uh well kasanji and uh yeah uh let's declare for kumbana Okay, sweet. We're done here. Uh, one for me, one for Kuba, and that's that. All right. 
Oh, I'm stupid. I shouldn't have done this. I, didn't, I can't declare on Congo. Uh, let me set everything here as a province of interest so Kuba will spy on them. Or we might actually go through Kasanji first. I'll dissolve this alliance too. Yeah, there we go, man. Two more nations left. After that, our colonization game will begin. And uh, unless we encounter Portugal and Spain, I think it'll be pretty smooth, man. A couple of no pain episodes in a row, not just in A to Z, but in releasables as well. I'm liking that. Sweet, Kuba's already got a claim on Congo. Uh, I think they started spying before I even set them as provinces of interest. But uh, yeah, that's great. When is our truce up? 1485 with Kasanjais. 1486. Eh, we'll see who will fight first. Meanwhile, uh, Banyoro right here is growing pretty big in the Lake Victoria region. Once they take out uh, Buha and Rwanda, they should form, uh, what you call it? Well, they'll form another nation right here and uh, they'll start, you know, colonizing these two, I think. Which is pretty cool. We can fight them after that, maybe. All right, first idea group time. <sighs> Obviously, we need exploration, maybe expansion as well. I won't focus since we're making decent dip points. And by the time we have a coastline, you know, we'll be all set. Sweet. Truce with Kasanje is up and they're already fighting Congo. Congo hasn't sieged anything down. You know what? So I think I'll declare, man, maybe get to it before Congo does. Because these guys are already so big. We're going to have to fight them twice either way. Let's just, you know, cut it short. All right, I got to every province before Congo did. This is going to be easy. Let's tell this other guy to beat them up. Easy war, man. Easy war. Luckily, we got everywhere before Congo did. All right, let me get a few claims on these guys, and we'll hit them. Uh, pretty simple. We are stronger than Congo now. They still have a pretty big army, but, you know, yeah, we're definitely better. Okay, two claims on Congo is enough. Let's go ahead and declare on them for the conquest of Matamba right here. Let's go ahead and take half now, half later. Okay, how did this turn Christian? Did Congo already meet someone? I just got a pop-up saying unlocked cult Christianity. I guess I can take it this now, but uh, I still don't know how it works where their capital changes to Catholic. All right, this is done. I think I am going to humiliate them in order to get a thingy going, but then again, I could have five level two centers of trade instead. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to take stuff from them, man. Uh, the coastline and then everything else that I can. This is a lot. You know what? I'll just leave them in three provinces or four provinces for later. Uh, and yeah, do the rest now. Okay, so that's the first war with Congo. Done. Now we can, uh, you know, build some boats, start colonizing as well. They actually flipped Catholic. Also just got the third idea in exploration. Overseas exploration for plus 50% colonial range. We'll be able to go pretty far. And then we're going for a Diplotech 7, which gives us even more colonial range. Yeah, I think think it's gonna be like go to south america then hop a few provinces then get to the caribbean excellent there's the three lights there's the explorer let's go ahead and explore meanwhile we've arrived at tier four let's go ahead and um centralize power and there we go actually bunyoro has conquered everyone over here i guess once they course something up or once they take a mission or something they'll start colonizing these two and we're gonna be catching up on tech pretty quickly here, man, once we stop fighting people and stuff like that. Um, I'm guessing the best tech right now is like um, 8, 9, 8 or something like that. Sweet, there's uh, Diplo 7 as well. Yep, Kitara, there it is. All right, we got Portugal here. What's our colonial range? Uh, it should be an economic. We can colonize all of this. This is uh, 289 far away. Yeah, let's see uh, how far away South America is. We need to go... Uh, as far as we can you know what might as well start colonizing it preemptively wait that's not cuba that's um dominica or whatever it's called no hispaniola sorry yeah but portugal's already here okay nothing's colonized in cuba yet um colonial range everything's too far second idea group time of course it's got to be expansion we gotta get cuba quick man you know what uh even if this gets colonized by Portugal, it won't be that bad, I don't think, as long as I can get a province next to them. Because if a colonial nation forms, I can basically fight them without having to fight uh, Portugal, their overlords. So let's see what happens, man. I'm not that down, but I am a little bit bummed out. Who's this, Brittany? Ah, uh, there it is. Ooh, we can give the, the merchant guilds new world charters. And it looks like this is the furthest we could colonize. Everything over here is too far away. Maybe we should have gone for St. Helena first, but this will jump us by quite a lot too. Now we got a second colonist, but I don't think we should do anything with him. I just think we need to wait for this guy to finish right here. Uh, colony is pretty small, and then it's send both of them to Cuba. They're going at this pretty quick, man. Caribas has formed. This is being colonized by Portugal. We just need to get at least one province there, man, before they uh, gobble all of it up. The start of Golden Era 2, I just took this as well. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is take out some new uh, burger loans and start building like um, boat buildings and stuff like that. I need sailors. We're going to need lots of boats. Yeah. Right now, our troops with Congo is also up, so we can go ahead and finish them off. 
or whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Let's just go and beat them up and gobble these provinces up. I'm just so concerned about this, man. They're expanding so quickly right here. If I can't get a province on here, I'll have to colonize like um, the Turks Islands or something just so I can get a border with them. And then I'll have to do a naval landing, which I don't want to do. Congo is done. I actually forgot about this war. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this to Cuba. And yeah, okay, so half of the challenge is done, man. We got Cuba. Uh, colony is done. Let's see the colonial range. Oh, I still can't get there. Get there. Wait, 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 wait. No. I can get there. Um, I need a colonial range guy. There. There. Uh, let's see. No. Still can't reach. There's no way to make this better, is there? Colonies are progressing okay-ish, but we're running out of time to gain a border, a land border with a Caribas right here, man. Three more provinces left. They are colonizing like two right now. Portugal seems to have shifted their focus somewhere else. Let's see. Yeah, Portugal is pretty much focusing right here right now. So we might be able to get like one before they get all of them. Pray in the, pray in the comments right now, chat. I definitely needed this. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is uh, actually send these uh, boats, these 20 transports I have over here. And I'm also gonna get the free company up right here and I'm gonna shift from this to that. Portugal have rivaled me. That's not that good. There we go. Colony in Miami is done, please. Yes, 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 yes. We can send the guy, yes. Okay, other colony is done as well. Let's go to Havana. Okay, they arrived safely in both locations. I wiped out the natives as well. Listen, I think we can work with this, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't. I'm uh, I'm not a new world nation. That's not how it works. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, if I move my capital here, right, I'll be a new world nation. Or actually, wait, this is North America. Let me look at the geographical map modes again. Regions, uh, super regions. Where is it? Subcontinents, right? This is Central America, North America. Okay, so I need to move my capital to South Georgia if I want to move it here. Or how does that work? Yeah, so if you want to move it to North America, you got to move it here. But I don't actually need to move it to North America. This is in the new world, right? So if I move it here, but a colonial nation won't form... So what I need to do is move it here so I can declare on these guys without fighting uh, Portugal, then move it back to Africa so a colonial nation will form because I do want a colonial nation here. Two different subjects, Cuba and Cuba. This is getting very convoluted. You know what? Once these two guys are done, I'm going to send one here and one to south of Georgia and we'll see how all of that goes. Yeah, not very... And I know I said I'd fight these guys, but I'm just preoccupied with different things, man. I'm just thinking a lot. That's it. Uh, Diplotech 8. We should be able to build a new building now. The one for, um, what you call it, man? The one for uh, naval force limit. Yeah, the shipyard. So let's build two right there. And we can't build any more right here. We need 10 dev. I'm way excess in, um, you know, what you call it, man. Mill points. So yeah, we can go ahead and do this. Should probably get galley combat here and there's our final cover form as a tribe of course we can remain one or we can flip to a monarchy but uh let's flip actually let's not flip <laughs> is what i meant to say all right we got a third colonist from exploration let's go to south georgia yeah. okay there's uh there's uh diplotech nine now we can go okay so i got uh five provinces here the caribas won't form because this is in florida right where's colonial and trade regions yeah okay so i can colonize this and make it my fourth one the amount of queen regions i've had this campaign you guys would not believe it there's expansion wrapped up we can go for this now caribas are pretty strong yeah. okay south georgia is done but i don't have enough admin points to move my capital let's state it of course first and then we need wow 338 that's quite a lot and then we need even more points to move it um up north if we need to mm, yeah not getting that much man not getting that much not that this air will be better actually i'm pretty stacked on diplo and um mill so what we're gonna do right here is just take out a loan and get like a level two advisor i guess i wonder if i can conquer all of this um and then like release someone and something like that basically what i want to do is make the ai form cuba but there's also a decision to form haiti and the west indies and i don't know which one of those three they would take so maybe that's a bit too convoluted either way there's our capital in south georgia now we're a new world nation i wonder if we can attack caribas now no not with this cb at least I think I need to move it up here. Uh, so what we need to do to avoid fighting these guys is basically um, fight Caribas, move our capital here, fight Caribas, conquer all of Cuba, then move our capital back to Africa so a colonial nation will form there. Annoying, but I'd rather do that than fight uh, Portugal, Great Britain, and Spain. All right, now we can move our capital up here. 
Uh, yeah, there we go. Now no one will join. All right, let's get these two armies over to Cuba, conquer all of this, and move our capital back to Africa. Okay, the entire army is here now. Uh, let's see if this works, man. Uh, I think we should be able to get them down fast enough, Portugal not to come in. But then again, their capital is here. They got ton of, they got a ton of other provinces i really don't know if we can do this without fighting portugal great britain and spain but um uh, well here goes nothing all right this is done um there we go portugal didn't even get involved okay now do we move our capital back to africa or do i uh let's see can i um can't release anyone here maybe make a cologne yeah well actually nah they'll be too far or wait no all right, what I'm thinking is we move our capital back to Africa. A colonial nation forms here. We release it. They hopefully form Cuba. Then we vassalize them. I don't know. Maybe we can do it. <laughs> can we even move our capital back to Africa? Yeah, we can. There we go. Now a colonial nation should form. It didn't? Yeah, I just need to core up another province for a colonial nation to form. I'm doing the cheapest one right now. Wait, I just realized there's no point in releasing them and making them and hoping that they form Cuba or something like that because you can't vassalize a nation in the new world. Or actually, you can. I've seen Castile uh, or Spain have uh, these uh, Aztec guys as subjects lots of times when you phalanx their overlord. So when you annex them, then it goes to your colonial nation. <laughs> there it is. There's the colonial nation. It's auto named Cuba and we'll keep that. All right, uh, like this, the original challenge is a success. We've got Cuba and we've got Cuba. Now, what I'm trying to do right here is, um, where is abandon? How do I abandon them? All right, so after looking for 15 minutes how to release a colonial nation, I finally found that out. You go into the subjects and then down here. So what I've done right here is done a save file. Uh, and basically, I'll go ahead and uh, release cuba right here hope that they form the post-colonial nation of cuba and if they do i'll go ahead and vassalize them if they don't i'll just reload back to this point in the game and uh call it a success <laughs> right let's go ahead and actually release them um there we go okay now let's find them my god they've only my god they've only got and done it cuba i guess they give this to caribus or whatever Okay, since they actually formed uh, Cuba, no reloading after this point. If I can't vassalize them, it's a failure. <laughs> okay, war is done. Please let this work. I got, like, a core next to you. Please, 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 please. Yes, yes, we can do it. We can actually do it. No way, dude. I didn't think this was going to happen. I thought they were going to form, like, Haiti or something. There you go, man. As Luba, we have Cuba and the actual Cuba. Not a colonial nation, not a colonial subject, as a vassal. This challenge is even more of a success than I thought. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as Luba in these few provinces right here. Shout out to Cuba for sieging me uh, back from the rebels. But uh, yeah, we started as Luba in these few provinces right here. The start was tough, as always, in this region right here. Had to spawn feudalism. Had to spawn the Renaissance. Didn't spawn colonialism. I was too lazy. But after fighting some weird wars, allying Congo, tough wars as well, uh, we also managed to vassalize Cuba and gave them uh, the provinces in this state that I wanted to give them, which made half of our challenge a success. And then, of course, you know what happened later on. Fought Congo again colonized before reaching right here we were sort of in a tight spot with caribas but once we got these provinces right here once we moved our capital to south georgia and then over to cuba and then fought them as a new world nation without getting portugal spain and great britain involved we took all of these provinces moved our capital back to africa so a colonial nation would form and after that i thought why not try and make that colonial nation form the nation of cuba itself if i released them i had no idea if that was going to work they did actually go ahead and do that they formed cuba and now this challenge is even more of a success because we didn't even do our original goal but we outdid our original goal by not only having Cuba as a vassal right here and uh, you know Cuba a nation that I've named over in the West Indies as a colonial subject we have the actual nation of Cuba as a vassal and with that ladies and gentlemen this challenge is the greatest success we've ever had because we didn't even know something like this was possible so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Luba in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Luba in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.